Welcome friends. In this video, we will discuss how to do angle Granger cointegration test, which is a two-step methodology to identify cointegration between the variables. Here, our data is daily observations. Uh, those are 2,900 approximate observations for futures and sport prices in Indian market for a security. Okay, friends. These are the futures and sport price data, daily price data for these uh, for a stock. So we want to identify are these prices co-integrated or not. For that purpose, we would be using angle Granger methodology. And here, first we have imported our data that I have shown you. After that, the step one is here, friends. We are using step first. In step first, what we do? We simply regress one non-stationary variable on other non-stationary variable and extract the estimated residuals from this long run model. Okay friends, here what we are doing, we have first established that the variables we are considering here, this energy F variable and energy S variable, they are non-stationary and integrated of the same order that I have already established friends. These are I1 variables. So first, before doing for this co-integration, you have to establish that the variables you are using in this method, they are non-stationary and integrated of same order. Here, both variables are I1. Okay, so now we regress these variables and just extract the estimated residuals from the model. Okay, friends, so what we are doing, I am using the command attach so that it can, so the R can read the column name directly and I am generating a LM variable, any name you can give here, regression for the long run equation, LM is the command for regression. What I am doing, I am regressing spot variable on future variable with intercept. Here you can use intercept trend as per your assumption and data characteristics. It's up to you. Here I am using only intercept and I am just running this regression. This regression is called long run regression or static regression. Okay friends. So now we have run the regression. Now you need to extract the residual of the model by using the command dollar residuals. So you have now the variable reg long run. So out of this reg long run variable you can extract by using dollar this and I'm storing this in a new variable resid that stands for residuals uh, reg long run in this way okay friends so I already mentioned here before doing this long run regression you had to ensure that all the variables we are considering are known as stationary and integrated of same order now we move to second step. The second step is we need to conduct stationarity or unit two test on such residuals. The residuals we have got here. Okay friends, now we would conduct stationarity test on this, on these residuals in step second. For that purpose, I am using the package URCA, that is unit root and co-integration package. So if you don't have that package, first install that or you can do if any other package you have that contains ADF command or PP command for Philips Peron and ADF test respectively, you can use them. So I have installed the package and just attached it. After that, I am using the command for that UR Dickey Fuller test, unit to Dickey Fuller test and uh, on the variable resid rag long run. This is the variable in which we have stored the residuals here friends. Okay, now on the residuals and the type, which kind of model you want to use here, like with intercept, with trend, you can mention here, but generally here we use none because we are taking from a regression, uh, the residuals are coming from a regression already. So you can take up, it's up to you. And then we are selecting the lags as for AIC criteria. So now we run this regression. This is the y variable we have generated for this coin uh, ADF test. You can also conduct here other 
you need to test as well okay friends now we can see the summary of this entire y variable but we simply want test statistic of adf test that is minus 20 and uh, critical values for that for 5% is 1.95 so here we see friends the test statistic value that is minus 20 is more than or we can say uh, in absolute terms it is more than 1.95 so we reject the null hypothesis of known stationarity and conclude that the residuals are stationary hence if we find in that case we find the residuals are stationary we conclude that these variables are co-integrated okay friends when you find that our residuals are stationary then we conclude that these variables are co-integrated which means there exists some long-run equilibrium long-run relationship between between them so we can estimate now vector error correction model we can also conduct innovation accounting like using variance decomposition and impulse response analysis or uh, just to identify the impact of one variable on others so in this way we can use angle granger methodology to conduct co-integration tests thanks friends keep watching